Hey guys, it's Joanne here, and today I am bringing you a quick Aldi car haul. I haven't done an Aldi's haul in a really long time. I didn't pick up a lot of things here, but I picked up a few items that I really wanted to bring to your attention so that you might potentially overlook when you're at the store and I thought this would be a good opportunity to haul these items for you. So if you like these kind of haul videos, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and that way you won't miss any of the videos that I upload or when I go live on YouTube. Earlier today I just went live in the in the Bath and Body Works uh, three wick candle sale. I did a live haul. So you, you don't want to miss those videos. You don't want to miss those lives. Make sure you hit that notification bell. Let's get to the haul. First thing I picked up was for snack time for me, which is the Clan Clancy's brand dark drizzled kettle corn. And this is basically just popcorn lightly coated with sugar, salt drizzled with dark chocolate flavoring. I like to have this as a treat, as a little bit of a treat with like I'm watching TV or I'm watching YouTube. And so I picked up two bags of these. I also picked up two jars of the Pirano 4 cheese sauce, spaghetti sauce, and a lot of times I use canned or jarred sauce when I don't feel like making my own. I like to always have a couple of these in my pantry, either these or like the Hunt's meat sauce from Dollar Tree in case I want to make a quick meal, a quick pasta meal, and I don't feel like making my own sauce or I ran out of my Trader Joe's marinara. So I really like this. I have bought it before time and time again, and I got two jars of this. I also picked up a can of the diced tomato and green chilies, and this is the same as like Rotel. I use this all the time in my chili and in my taco salads, etc. So I usually always pick up a can or two of those when I go to either when I go to either Dollar Tree, Wegmans, or Aldi's. I just always I always have Rotel tomatoes. I always purchase them. My butter that I use for myself is the Kerry Gold Irish butter, and there is a difference between this is what they call pure Irish butter. There is a difference between this butter and the regular butter. Um, as far as pricing wise, I think this, which is like two bricks, is like run like almost three dollars it's milk from grass fed cows which is really important when it comes to ingesting when it, when it comes to digesting cow dairy uh, having if you are going to have cow, cow dairy the best option is to look for grass-fed cow options and that's what the carry gold is and I picked up a container of that. Lastly in this bag is I picked up two things of sparkling water. Uh, white grape and I think the other one was black cherry. Uh, Mr. Plans had asked for some sparkling water to have a little bit of a change from just drinking plain water and this is 12 fluid ounces and it's just carbonated water and natural flavoring. That's basically all it is. Moving really quick on this haul. You guys know that in, if you guys have watched any of my Wegmans hauls before, you've probably seen that I've hauled the Kind Bars. I always haul Kind Bars from Wegmans. They are gluten-free. They are a great, I, I count it as a protein or as a nut when I have it for one of my snacks and it's made with dark chocolate. What happens is my son ends up eating a lot of them and it gets kind of expensive because he really doesn't need the expensive gluten gluten-free kind bars. So what I do for him is I pick up these Millville uh, sweet and salty granola bars and this one is the peanut almonds and dark chocolate chunks and he he seems to not complain about these and I, I've actually had a couple of these before and they're actually pretty good. Uh, calorie count is 170 calories and um, carbs 22 carbs, th uh, 8 grams of fat, 90 sodium, yeah, and it's made with dark chocolate. So I got two packages of those. Two, I always buy things in twos, guys. I got two packages of the Large Shrimp by Sea Queen. These are already peeled and deveined. I like to have these for like a quick meal or a quick snack. It's if you're looking to just, you know, throw some protein in, you can uh, de dethaw these and sa saute these up with some with some vegetables and some flavorings and you got yourself a meal. Oh, the black cherry sparkling water. My son also loves the chicken and cheese taquitos. He actually likes these better than any brand that I've ever purchased from the name brand stuff at the grocery store. Every time I try some of the name brand stuff, he's like, I like the Aldi's brand better. And so this is two taquitos as a serving, 230 calories, 10 grams of fat, 27 carbs. This is something that's a quick and easy snack for my son to have when he's got the munchies. Also, I picked up for sandwiches the um, Never Any brand uncured black forest ham and I like the Never Ending 
the never any company because it contains no nitrates are ever added the pork is raised with no antibiotics they're never added they, they're never given any hormones and they're fed strictly a vegetarian diet i got those for sandwiches uh, taco seasoning for taco salads this is the casa casa memita and it's basically 20 percent less sodium i always like using the less sodium content ones you know it's just it's just a combination of spices you know to make your ground beef taco flavor i got two jars of nuts part of our food plan that we're on we have to have a lot of nuts and i picked up this time roasted cashews with sea salt the huge they're deluxe nuts so there's like a huge sometimes i'll get the raw cashews and sometimes i change it up and get the roasted with the sea salt and then i also got a big jar of the mixed nuts which is cashews almonds brazil nuts pecans and hazelnuts with added sea salt this is great to grab a handful of these when you're looking for a snack on the go the other thing i picked up is i picked up a bag of almonds unsalted almonds these I honestly are I'm not sure if they're raw or roasted I think these are raw almonds because they just say whole almonds they don't say roasted I am going to make I am going to do a video of the how I make almond milk out of these things just so you guys can see how easy it is how much how much you need how many almonds you need to actually make a good almond milk and the process that's involved it's it's sometimes it's a lot of fun to do something like this especially like with your kids you can kind of do this there's a part of it I think the kids would like to do that's kind of fun it's when you peel the it's when you peel the skins off of this but it basically shows them it gives them something else that they can try to make a drink that they can try to drink and also get them to like almond milk because they've because because they've made it themselves and maybe you can convert your kids off of the cow dairy milk to the almond milk Gianelli brand turkey uh, mild turkey sausage and I am going to be opening these casings up and browning this up and I'm going to be putting this in a stuffed acorn squash with a with like a stuffing type recipe that's a really great fall meal to make by the way is the roasted acorn squash with this uh, with this stuffing I also picked up the live G free brand gluten-free stuffings so I was actually looking for this at Thanksgiving time and I didn't think to go to Aldi's but Aldi's has a great this live G free brand is a really good brand I have not yet tried the stuffing yet uh, if you want me to review the stuffing I will try to make some of it this week but yeah so let me know if you would like to me to do a quick review of this either on YouTube or on Instagram something like that anyways that is it for my Aldi haul guys if you like these kind of haul videos again give the video a big thumbs up it helps me it helps my channel if you're new to my channel hi I'm Joanne it's so nice to meet you I would love it if you would like to stay a part of my YouTube family to hit that subscribe button for those of you who have been subscribed thank you so much for coming back and checking out my video and, and sitting shotgun with me here while I show you what I hauled this week at Aldi's you guys be awesome enjoy the rest of your day and I'm gonna chat with you in my next video bye guys